Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. The key phrase is, after this. This week we are going through the resurrection appearances of Jesus, and yesterday we ended with the Sunday after the first Easter. There we saw Thomas finally encountering the risen Jesus, and in the end, Jesus told his disciples to go to Galilee. Presumably, the next several days were involved in them traveling the 60 miles to get there. In those days, there, wasn't, there weren't rapid means of travel, and the likelihood is that they walked. How long would it take you to walk almost all the way to Augusta or to Florence or to Rock Hill? Those are about the same distance, and it took some time. Maybe that's why the next stories about appearances by the risen Jesus don't include every one of the twelve and aren't mentioned as happening at a specific time. Instead, they happened after this. In other words, after the Sunday after Easter and before the day of Pentecost. And again, they happen in Galilee. There are three stories of Jesus appearing during this time, and one of them should be fairly familiar to you. In this one, the disciples are up in Galilee, and at the time, as time is going by, they decide to go fishing. That makes sense. A lot of them were fishermen on this very lake before Jesus called them to follow him. While they were fishing, unsuccessfully, I might add, Jesus appears on the beach. He tells them to lower their nets again, and they do, and they get a large catch. That's when they realize that, that it is Jesus, and Peter jumps in and swims ashore. When everyone gets ashore, they find Jesus there with a charcoal fire and already grilling some fish. It's never mentioned where Jesus got those fish. What is most important in this story, however, is his conversation with Peter. He asks Peter, do you love me? And Peter replies, yes. Then Jesus asks him a second and then a third time. And after the third time, Peter is despondent. He realizes that Jesus knows what Peter had hoped to keep hidden, that Peter had denied Jesus three times. But here Jesus gives Peter the chance to take it back and shows us that even for betrayal and denial, there is forgiveness and love. The other two stories are not well known. And in fact, they don't come from the gospels at all, but rather from the letters of Paul. Paul mentions in 1 Corinthians 15 that after this, Jesus appeared to the 500 and then to James. James was actually the brother of Jesus and was the leader of the church in Jerusalem. But the truth is that other than what Paul says here, we don't know anything about these two appearances. We don't know when they happened or who the 500 were. We don't know what he and James talked about. At some point there on the beach, Jesus must have instructed his followers to head back to Jerusalem because when the day of Pentecost comes, that's where they are. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.